Curious about China's robotics frontier, our gracious team was invited to Beijing to meet innovators shaping the future of humanoid robots. So excited, I've never been in China before and then we're going to get to see some robots with our own eyes, so that's really, really exciting. Here we're in Beijing, we're going to visit our first company, the Noitex Robotics. Their latest model, N2 and E1, did a great job in the humanoid marathon and a recent 2025 global humanoid robotic games. After arriving at Noitex, we were immediately drawn into a world where robots move like humans. Founded in 2023 by a 1997 born graduate from Tsinghua University, China's MIT, this young robotics startup is already turning heads with their motion control and agility when it medals in multiple robotics competitions. Just look at some of the quick stats. It's about like 1.2 meter high, and uh, the running speed is about like 3.5 uh, uh, meters per second, and it's running very fast, right? Uh, with a single battery, probably can run for two hours, and it can it support like a battery change. We got the chance to test the robot's stability and balance firsthand, and they didn't disappoint. <laughs> no, it's like, this is abuse, sorry. <laughs> they also stand out in perception and interaction, able to sense emotions, mimic expressions, and carry on a conversation. At the end of our visit, CFO Han Shenzhen shared the company's vision for the future of AI and humanoid robotics in China. 中国人的机器人其实在去年其实经历一个比较大的突破就是大家在一个技术路线选择上可能在强化学习跟MPC之间大家都慢慢去选择了RL这个强化学习的路线所以然后在这个之后呢其实看到中国的人性机器人公司其
uh, non-touching proximity sensing. Our sensitivity is around 0.01 Newton. So it would sense if the object is, is very soft or light. It won't use a very, also a very big of the uh, pressure to uh, squeeze through the object. With outstanding tactile sensors and chips, their solutions are highly applicable across everyday scenarios. It's like a control pad, so our sensors are behind the uh, leather. It, would, it could be done in different materials, and then to make this part of the leather uh, doing uh, touching controls. Wow. Pointing and also slide control for controlling the uh, volume. It could detect the uh, if there are also the same function, human objects or non-human objects, which is, for example, a very heavy bag. So it won't show like uh, there are children on the seat. So this function is for uh, telling the parents uh, what is the situation of children on the chair, and also to alert the, the, the parents not to forget the children inside the car. <coughs> We also had the chance to experience their robots firsthand, watching how they navigate complex spaces and interact naturally with humans. From Noitik's athletic humanoids to Galbo's service-ready robots to Tashan's tactile sensing breakthroughs, it's clear that China is not just participating in the global robotics race, it's helping lead it. This company shows how quickly the field is moving from research labs to real-world applications, where robots are set to play a major role in industries and daily life. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more China content. I will see you next time.